For almost 2,000 years, an imposing Roman amphitheatre has dominated the city of Nîmes. Nîmes is the capital of the Département Gare, on the edge of Provence. Prior to the Romans, the Celts established a settlement here. During the rule of Julius Caesar and Emperor Augustus, the city grew in importance. Once, the arena was the setting for gladiatorial battles, but today it is the matadors who fascinate their audiences during the Whitsuntide Feria. The monumental Roman building is not only the scene of bullfights, but also gentler pursuits such as concerts and opera. The amphitheatre was built around 70 AD. Nîmes, or Nemorsus as the Romans called their colony, developed into an important centre. In the second century AD, Emperors Hadrian and Antonius Pius ordered the construction of two further splendid buildings. Thus, the town was enriched by fine architecture. However, following the decline of the Roman Empire, Nemorsus was gradually forgotten. Poverty was rife. During the Middle Ages, the Counts of Nîmes transformed the arena into a castle-like fortress. Two walled arcades are evidence of this. The former bloodthirsty spectacles of the Romans have since made way for more civilized entertainments. In midsummer particularly, this is the setting for a variety of cultural events. Twenty-five thousand spectators once filled these terraces. Today, however, the seating capacity of the amphitheatre is somewhat smaller. In contrast to the famous Roman arena at Arles, this smaller replica of the Colosseum still contains some well-preserved sections of the highest floor, the Attica. A long time after the barbaric Roman games and its transformation to a medieval fortress, this building served as the residential quarters for several hundred people. At the beginning of the 19th century, however, the living quarters made way for the excavation and restoration work of historians and archaeologists. Today, the beautiful view from the most highly elevated seats of the amphitheatre extends across the rooftops of the picturesque old town of Nîmes. The Maison Carré is a further fine example of Roman architecture. 
Even today, the temple is in perfect condition. These Corinth capitals and artistic stone carvings are of Greek influence and there are typical features of Augustinian classic design. The temple's excellent state of repair stems back to the time when it was transformed into a church. Thus, this pagan building that dates back to the first century AD was spared from destruction by the Christians. The Maison Carré boasts three great paintings by contemporary American artists. Jardin de la Fontaine Park dates back to Nîmes' earliest days. The god Nîmes was once worshipped here by the Celts. Later, the Romans called this Celtic god Nemosus, thus creating the name of the town. During the first century AD, the Romans built a sanctuary known as a Nipheum next to the fountain. The Baroque garden, with its rich array of sculptures, dates back to the 18th century when the city enjoyed much prosperity. Silk and cotton production helped to make Nîmes prosper. And this is evidenced by its exquisite park. After a short walk through the Jardin de la Fontaine and at the top of Mont Cavalier, is the Tour Magne. This mighty watchtower that was probably built in 15 BC is the most substantial remnant of the city's former Roman wall. Conquering the 140 steps of the tower that lead to an observation area, the effort is well rewarded. A wonderful view across the ancient city of Nîmes and its glorious 2,000-year history. <laughs> 